He did that. What's up and what's the word, blurs? Your boy Black Ranger here. And welcome back for another week of Black Ranger's Blurred Life, where we explore all things nostalgic in the world of blurs and nerds. I'm talking about toys, video games, movies, TV shows, sci-fi, comic books, anime, everything that just takes you back to the place where life was just easy, carefree, and you were having a bunch of fun. Thank you guys for joining us this week. If you didn't get a chance to check out last week's video, I had an amazing GameCube find. So make sure you jump on over to the Blurred Life playlist and check that video out. Check out as many of them as you want. Get the videos a like. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you're commenting on these videos, you guys. All right. So we here for another week. I hope everyone had an enjoyable Thanksgiving. Mine was pretty great. Great time with family and friends. Good food, of course. And just good time with loved ones. That's what it's all about. I hope you guys had a great one. And I hope you're ready for this video we got this week. So we're going to do a little something different this week. Normally we out and I got my thrift store finds and things like that. Didn't do a lot of hunting this week because I had something else I wanted to do. Because while we were celebrating Thanksgiving, we were also celebrating the 23rd anniversary of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time which happens to be my favorite game. So this week, we're going to get into a little bit about the game and the franchise as a whole. So let's get it. All right, so we're starting way back in February of 1986, where in Japan, they released a game called The Hyrule Fantasy, also known as The Legend of Zelda, and then turned around a year later on August 22nd, 1987, <laughs> a week after my first birthday. Thanks. The game was released in North America, and the title was shortened, and it just became The Legend of Zelda. This game came out, had the gold cartridge and everything. This game was great. You know, how could you not love? First of all, this gold cartridge was awesome. And, you know, <clears throat> not just the cartridge, you know, changing the way things happen, but... This game changed pretty much gaming forever. Show me the money. No, no, literally. It was the first game to have a battery save function. Well, at least that time he was helpful. But yeah, so that was the first time that that function was ever, you know, brought to a game. And it happened because of The Legend of Zelda. Then we turned around, and as a successor to The Legend of Zelda, we get The Legend of Link, Zelda 2. This one came out in January 1987 in Japan, and then in September of 1988 in North America. And again, in Japan, these games came out for the Famicom Disk System in America, it came out for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, this game was not as well reviewed. The reviews for it were not that great, okay? <laughs> or any of them at that matter. Yeah, what he said. It really wasn't the best. But if you want more information on taking it back to The Legend of Zelda or The Legend of Link... Check out my man NES Complex page. He does a declassified series and he has one on The Legend of Zelda where you learn the full history, tips, tricks, cheat codes, glitches, everything about the game, aren't you guys? So make sure you check that out. So next after that, in November of 1991 and April of 1992, developers came up with The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. And this game came out, and this was the first one for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And this game introduced a lot of staples in the franchise, including the Master Sword, which is the best 
It's one of the best things you can have. I mean, as time progressed through the games, it it changed up a little bit, but you always wanted to have the Master Sword. All right. So that was the third installment. Then we move on to number four, where Nintendo in June of 1993 and August of 1993 released The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This was the first time that the game had been brought out for a handheld console. And this, you know, definitely changed the gaming community. You know, the Game Boy was hot back then. And to be able to have the game in your hand and change a game, because we all had, you know, Tiger handhelds, but you couldn't change the game on the Tiger handheld. Game Boy changed that. And Link's Awakening made it even better. I had Link's Awakening Somehow I lost a bunch of my stuff over the years moving, but uh, of course I'm building up the collection. We'll see it again in there one day. So that was installment number four, which brings us to November 21st in Japan and November 23rd, 1998. First time I saw you, I knew we'd be linked forever. For you, I traveled to the four corners of the world. I faced adversity. I became a hero. Dad. I saved your kingdom. Dad. Yes, Zelda? Are you mixing me up with the princess again? The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was released for the Nintendo 64. This game brought Zelda to a new level in the franchise. This was the first time 3D themed world had been introduced. You know, you had to open Rome and you could go out and do all types of stuff. And the game was awesome. The fifth installment, my favorite game. So let's just get into a little bit about the Ocarina of Time. So one thing about it is, you know, you start off as a little boy and you're awakened by this fairy from this nightmare. And you see Zelda riding off on a horse covered up by her protector. And then you see Ganondorf coming after him. So you wake up from this dream by a fairy and they pretty much tell you, you know, you got to get up. This great Deku tree wants to come, wants to see you, and you got to go and fulfill your destiny. And you go through all these things, and you get to a point where you get to the Temple of Time. And you have the ocarina, and you have the three stones, and you put them there to complete the Triforce, kind of. And once you play this song, the temple opens up even more, and you see the Master Sword in front of you. Now, you go up to the Master Sword, you take the Master Sword out. Because you're the only one who can fulfill that destiny. And boom. You wake up and it's seven years later. So not only did you start the game being asleep and waking up. Now you start the next phase and it's seven years later. Now you're grown. You know, you get up. You got on your green tunic, all that good stuff. You got your Hillian sword. You got the master sword. And you're awakened by this sage. And they tell you it's your destiny. The land's been taken over by Ganondorf. And you got to restore Hyrule to its glory. You go out and you do all these different things. You know, you receive all these different medallions from all the sages after you save them and their villages from Ganondorf's evil curse. And then the last but not least thing you do is go to the castle and fight Ganondorf again in the end. And you release all of Hyrule from his evil reign of tyranny and all that good stuff. And Everything's restored. The sun is back out. People are back out having a good time. Dogs are playing in the streets. Butterflies are flying. Music's being played everywhere, and it's just a good time again. And, you know, you, Link. <laughs> I named mine B-Ranger. Well, yeah, as he said, you know. But you go through and Link. Hey. You mean be ranger Okay, we get it. Be ranger uh, You know, Link, you're the hero, and you do all this great stuff. And that's the end of the game. But the great thing is, it's so open world and free roaming that you're just going around and having a good time. You get a, you know, you can raise a horse from the time that you're a kid. You learn Epona's song. You tame the horse, you get to ride it around. Whenever you're out walking and don't want to walk no more, play your little song, hop on your pony and ride off in the sunset. But overall, it was a great game. It was my favorite one. I remember when it first came out, I begged and pleaded for this game. And my grandmother bought it and gave it to me at a church concert, a gospel concert. And I was ready to leave immediately. Heathen. 
I mean, what do you expect? I was I was young. I was a kid. But, you know, we didn't leave. Stayed and enjoyed the concert. Went back to my grandmother's house and my N64 was at home. So didn't get to play it, was ready to go home the next day, went and picked it up, ripped the box open, threw it away, which I, which I would not have done, but it happened. But that was the end. That was history made, and the game took over as my favorite game back then, even till now. I just started playing it a few days ago again, and I can't wait to get to the end of it again. I'm about halfway through right now, but that's everything I can give you on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But following that, Nintendo released 14 more main titles in the series and in the franchise. Yes, there will be a 15th that was released. They said it at Tripoli in 2019. So we're still waiting on that next year. I'm waiting for it on Switch, all right? But yes, so there have been a total of 27 between main titles and remakes of the, uh, of the game overall. And it's one of the best, you know, most well-known, most well-loved games franchises in nintendo's history especially for me there have been animated series you know merchandise toys everything link's been thrown in a bunch of different games just uh for him to be featured or you see him because of the popularity of the franchise and nintendo did a great job developing this game i love it again it's my favorite one i'll be playing through it for the next couple of days to finish it all right, you guys, so again, that's all I can give you. If you want to learn more, again, check out NES Complex and his video on The Legend of Zelda, the original cartridge, and then just do some research online. There's plenty of stuff out there. I know you can find it, but I just wanted to give love to my favorite game of all time. All right, you guys, so thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. This is a lot different than what I normally do, and if you did enjoy this, please put it down in the comments, get a video a like, tell me you like this type of content and I can continue doing more of these over time. You know, I don't have to go and spend money and thrift every week, even though I got a bunch of stuff on eBay right now from thrifting and it's looking really good. But again, thanks for stopping by. If you like it, let me know. I'll do more or even tell me a game that you would like to see me feature in one of these type of conversations through the Blur Life. All right, you guys, so make sure you like subscribe turn on the bell to get notifications comment down below and then share this video with your family and friends so they can come and enjoy the blurred life with us all right we all gonna have fun together all right you guys so it's the holiday season make sure you're getting things ready wrap up because it's getting a little cool out there depending on where you are love up on your family and friends and just continue to have a good time and enjoy your life and the blurred life and always be 100 percent authentically you all right, you guys, thanks for stopping by. You know what we do here, Black Ranger, I'm out.